Hello, everybody. I'm Aaron from Victor Ops in Boulder, Colorado. I'm going to talk a little bit today about data and intuition and kind of how we bring those two things together and actually make choices around our infrastructure. Let's make sure this thing is, oh, there we go. So every day, data scientists are telling us that there's about 2.5 quintillion bytes of data that's created. So that's about, if you put those on Blu-ray discs, it's about 10 million Blu-ray discs. Uh, that's about 14 Statues of Liberty stacked up of Blu-ray discs. This is every day that's created. So 80% of small businesses report that they have experienced an outage. Those outages cost anywhere from $145 to $250 a minute. So you're looking at about 80,000 to a quarter million dollars for an hour that you're down. So this is very expensive. I realize this slide, I should have had like a sad face and I'd be all happy because I was at the track and won some money. But <laughs> anyway, it costs a lot of money. There's a lot of pressure when you're having to respond to that infrastructure. Um, as well, your brain holds about three terabytes of information. So three terabytes is about one millionth the amount of data that's made every single day. So how in the world is it that we have our brains that are able to actually make choices when we're faced with this pressure and all the money? Now, the Victor Ops data scientist, Ryan, he tells me on average, people are getting about 225 alerts in a day. So it's about 11,250 lines that you have to process um, if you're looking at like, you know, 50 lines of code in a day. So I wanted to bring it down. Let's go back to those, that days when you're at the service desk, let the phone ring a couple times, smile, we're gonna relax a little bit. It's not all terrible, okay? Um, so let's talk a little bit about how our brains actually work. And we're gonna look back at our more primitive brain. So the primitive brain uh, was not like coding and acting alerts and doing all this really complex stuff. So our primitive brain, the first thing it kind of had us do was to go out there, we're out in the world, we're with our tribe, and we're kind of working maybe to find some food. We're gonna go out there, we're gonna find some food, kind of bring that back, take care of the tribe that's back at home. And now, the only problem with this is, when we're out and we're trying to find that food, there was probably something that was actually chasing us and that was interested in having us as dinner that night. So there's this idea about surviving today. And it also might have been back trying to get your tribe as well while you're out trying to find food. And then kind of that third sort of primitive thing that our brains do, it's about kind of finding someone special. Hey, let's find someone we care about. Let's bring that person into the tribe, hang out, uh, spend some time together, uh, and just enjoy each other's company. So these are kind of how our brain was, was hardwired. Now, the other problem with this is, with this hardwire, we kind of like continually do this cycle. Eat, maybe, you know, find that special friend, go out, find the food. Um, and then repeat that whole process. So how is it that our brains today actually have the ability to make like these more complex choices? And that comes from our frontal lobe. So your frontal lobe is this really cool tool that actually allows you to make these like creative decisions. It's, it's much more like complex decisions are all happening in your frontal lobe. So it's a really powerful thing. And the great thing about it is it actually works in the background when you don't even know it. It's like the little wizard back there. And it's taking in all your experiences and it's like compiling these. So you're, even though you have all this data, as you have experience, like you're learning and your mind is actually grabbing all this stuff. And your mind is really powerful. It can do little tricks on you that you don't even realize are happening. So as you read this, all of a sudden you notice that the is, report, is, is repeated every time in the sentence and your brain kind of auto fixes it for you. Same thing with a CAPTCHA. You know, CAPTCHA out in the digital world, the CAPTCHA will actually stop a computer from doing work. However, your brain, you can recognize this thing, you can see the silly computer, and you have the ability to think beyond it and actually make a choice about what you're doing. Now, the National Weather Service is responsible for some really important forecasts. They have really powerful tools that model the weather and really take care of communities. If, if they forecast something is happening you know, a little bit more to the, to the west than to the east, it could hit on a totally different coast. They never release a forecast unless they've actually had a human brain put their intuition and, and apply it to that forecast. And they found that their forecasts are about 25% more accurate when they take the data and take their intuition and apply it all together. So I'm gonna encourage us all to do that. Use the data, trust your intuition, and that's how you can make some really powerful decisions. And my last slide, I just wanna encourage everybody Let's have a little bit more love, a little bit less hate, and I'm really thankful for the opportunity to be with you guys today. Thanks.